Okay, so we live in a world where stress is becoming part of our daily lives. Work, school, bills, family, and many more obligations makes it more stressful. We tend to look at things in a negative outlook when under stress. And that is why it is helpful to deal with stress with a more positive attitude. And today, in A to Z, we are going to start the topic with an A. A is for attitude, and let's talk about positive attitude. How we handle our situation with being optimistic and looking for the best result or solution, even in every difficult situation, is called having a positive attitude. It doesn't mean we ignore negative thoughts, which can happen unpredictably when we are under stress. Otherwise, we can redirect negative perspective to positive perspective to help us maintain the positive attitude. People with positive attitudes usually can see the best in tough situations and try to solve the problem properly. That's why, why is it important to show a positive attitude in front of our children? As parents or adults, sometimes we are still wondering why having a positive attitude really matters to our children, right? The answer is, it will help to prepare our children to face challenges and know the right standards in dealing with a situation that is still considered unfamiliar to them. For example, it's not easy to hear your child express their negative thoughts or seeing them anger or even sadness and don't know how to express them well. Usually, children will show it in emotions which can be crying or even screaming or rolling on the floor. Therefore, we must try to teach positive attitude towards children so that they can learn to have a good healthy habit. Since children learn by watching, they are a great topic. Here are some ideas to help our children to have a positive attitude. First, let's work on building positive thoughts and turn from negative ones. Second one, encourage children by saying three magic words. Thank you, sorry, and please. Why? To be appreciative of others' efforts. The third one is to learn how to appreciate the little things and see the good side even when there's trouble. And the fourth one, let's do some art and craft together to build their creativity and express their imagination and feelings. You can try that at home. The fifth one, laugh a lot with your children. And don't forget to give them warm hugs. It helps, really. That's the few steps. So, have you tried having a positive attitude at home? Let's start with us, adults, and set a good habit for our kids. So, that's all for today. Thank you, and catch you all later on our next A to Z.